this is a bit weird being a passenger. Yeah, you're not a very good passenger. I'm, I'm one of them uh, back street uh, back back street boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a backstreet boy. Everybody, yeah, yeah. yeah. Move your, your body. body. I don't know the back words. streets back. back. All, All right. right. Well, that was just in the uh, that were number one in charts when Mambo number five or number two, because and I remember. Well, were you that. going for all girls' names? <laughs> yeah, I just remember it because I went on a, a lads' trip to. Uh, Magaluf. Oh my god, Megaroth. So, Megaroth. I went to Magaluf for two weeks. We. Uh, two weeks? I, I think so. I yeah. bet you were dead when we you came we back. We all order uh, rugby lads. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can imagine I what can that imagine. was. So, yeah, what we're on about. I'm a, a back seat driver, although I'm in the front seat. Yeah. I hate being a passenger. I know you do. I like I'm, to be in control. I am, uh, I am driving at the speed limit. Anyway, a few people have told us to try Papa's. And I was like, oh, I don't like Papa's. Because we, when we went, before we had Channel, we didn't like it, did we? We went to... It, we were, uh, we, it, we didn't, yeah, like. It were a bit... And it was, it was scruffy and dirty. And the staff were really young, and they just didn't seem to... Oh, care. God, yeah. I wonder if staff will be the same here. I don't know. But in the interests of balance, now we sort of got a, a formula of reviewing the fish and chip shops. We thought, well... People, this this is what people want. And I'm starving. <laughs> and I'm starving. So it's a bit of a quick one because we've got to go and pick your daughter up, haven't we? Yeah. That the, hence why I'm driving because uh, we have to avoid the. She works in the. In the zone. What do they call it? The clean air zone. Yeah. And don't get me on about that. Oh, I will please gonna, don't get him on about don't that. Don't get me on about. I was, was going <laughs> to put bin liners over my number plate, but <laughs> I thought I better not. <laughs> Anyway, this is our review of Papa's Fish and Chips. Sheffield. Near, Near Sheffield, Sheffield Arena. Arena. Enjoy. Yeah, I do video diary, yeah, it's great. It's amazing. Cuthbert. Oh, right, we'll, yeah, we'll look you up. Cuthbert? That's, that's mechanical Cuthbert, yeah. Do you, what did you say? Do you put the milk in first? Of course you don't. That's sacrilege. Is it? Yeah, you put the milk in I don't. I don't really drink tea. So you've got a pot of tea each. I'm a stir. I like it. Looks it's nice and cold. I like it like a builder's tea. Yeah, I quite You know, like. so that it gives you hair on your chest. Yeah. I know, you need to sort that out, your hairy chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Yorkshire tea. Is it Yorkshire tea? Yeah. Did it say that? It did. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Nice cup of tea. Normally when I'm having fish and chips, I like to have a sugar in it as well. I know. Why? I don't normally have sugar in my tea, but... When I'm having fish and chips. Why? Just, I don't know. I think it's Don't probably, put sugar in. It's bad for you. If I want to do that, I'm a grown-up. These are the small haddock and chips. We've got a curry it sauce. Looks like a big haddock. And we've got a mushy peas. But we've also got some scraps because they were free. So we thought we'll have some of them. We've asked for tartar sauce and they're in packets. So that's not really good. But... We're not posh here, so I'm just going to get a chip and I want to try the peas first. Oh. 
Yeah. Alright. Fully sauce. Not as good as with this curry sauce. That's a bit like Chinese. It tastes a bit like it's out of a bottle or yeah. a packet. The batter's nice and crispy. Should use an iron fork really, shouldn't I? Mm. Batter's crispy. What's Not the fish like? Couldn't do that in a minute. Oh. Can you see that? That looks nice, yeah. See that? Does that look alright? You're starving, aren't you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> mm. oh. It's it's similar. I mean it is had it, you can tell, that's what we ordered. It's similar to the one in Whitby's actually. It's nice and moist. But Probably a little bit better than the Whitby's. I'd like you to do a test now. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> that is good. Do you like it? Yeah. Right. It's not like a chip shop. That's not as good. Right. That's not as good as. Do you know what it tastes a bit like? What? Like a jar of sauce you buy in the supermarket. Mm. It's not unpleasant. It's, it's nice. not unpleasant, but it's not what you expect, is it? No, not chip shop, correct? It's like you get from a Chinese. And then the tartar sauce is in a sachet, whereas Whitby's was it. It, it appeared to be homemade it and it was homemade. delicious. Mm -hmm. But. You've not tried peas, you don't like peas, have you? Well, peas are okay. Yeah. Push peas. <laughs> what about the They're chips? They're okay. Sort of break a chip up. They should be nice and crispy on there. I think the chips are good, actually. Mm. The chips are good. Yeah. So before we, where's she going? Where are you going? I thought we were going over here. I'll meet you across. We're driving because yeah. we have got time to walk. Well, it's only there. It's there. I just want to film this and I'll meet you across there. All right. All right. <laughs> Helen's taking car uh, across to the entertainment. We're going to have a look there because we've got a bit of time to kill. I said, you drive across and I'll just walk across because I wanted to film Forge Masters. But it's further than I thought. I thought you couldn't nip through, but there's a river or something. So I'm wondering where I've got so. She's there. Hello. Busy around here, isn't it? just let Helen win that then so she'd feel good about herself I know I could beat her any time I want but <laughs> this is what you've got to do with your girlfriends <laughs> it, what are you laughing at this is this is a tip for you guys you know let let the girls win because they feel good about themselves and then you have a good evening if you just beat them then they'll be sulking all night can I just share the story <laughs> yeah. we've uh, Helen left a jacket in fish and chip shop and we've just drove all the way back for it. She's had them looking around for it, all staff. Oh, we can't find it. Then she's come back and it's in my kit car, isn't it? 
She never took it in at first place. <laughs> It's a classic, isn't now it? Now that is called a senior moment. Yes, you have a lot of those, don't you, Dan? <laughs> I do not. Anyway, let's do the fish and chip review. Let's. What do we think about it before we forgot? What do we think? Go on, you, you give me your verdict. I would say it's a seven. You would say it's a seven. Out of ten. However... The fish was better than Whitley's fish. But... Fractionally better. Yes, fractionally better. I think you've been generous with yourself, haven't you? Do you think? Yeah, that's a six. Why would you? The fish was very fractionally better than Whitby's, but Whitby's fish wasn't... Whitby's fish is normally lovely. And we shouldn't be comparing, we can't... It's green eyes. We shouldn't always be compared. Will you stop it? You were going to stop it, green light. I was looking because I saw red in the corner of my eye. Will you stop it? That's a red light. You can stop now. Right, do I ever... Back go... street, back, all right. Do I ever comment on your driving? All the time. I don't. Just off camera. She beats me. <laughs> we... I beat you tonight. <laughs> she beat uh, me tonight. What do you call it? Hand bowling. I weren't in zone. I'm well, having an off day. I've been feeling dizzy all day. It's vertigo. What, vertigo? Yeah, that's why when I was rolling balls, they were going to the side. <laughs> Seriously. So how come mine were just going straight down the middle? You've not got vertigo. It's a proper condition I've got. A proper condition? Yeah, people will account for that. Anyway, let's do the food review. I'm saying six. The fish were slightly better than Whitby's, but Whitby's weren't that good that day. The chips were good, all right. But the peas and the curry weren't. Well, were a bit weird. They were good. all right, but they were a bit weird, weren't they? They weren't really typical, were they? No, it was like they tried to add their own sort of style to them. The curry sauce just didn't fit at all. It was not like a normal curry sauce. It was all right on its own, but, but it didn't, it didn't taste fit like with that fish classic. And chips. Yeah. Fish and chip shop curry. And the, the mushy peas were were a bit meh. Tea were alright. I think <coughs> the peas had got too much food colour in them. Yeah, they were a bit of a funny colour. And the ambience. Yeah, I like the decor. Yeah, they did so all right. It was. However, it was a better experience than the Pappas in Whitby. Yeah. So and the staff were very friendly. The staff were friendly. They were lovely staff. Yeah. And it was quick. No issue with that at all. No. No issue with the service one bit. It was very good. So, but out of the two that we've reviewed so far, Whitby's, so this is sort of Sheffield, Rotherham area, Whitby's and Pappas, if you were taking friends out for fish and chips, you'd choose Whitby's. Yes. That's because of the decor and the ambience. Yeah. And it just feels... Nice. And I think when we had the Whitby's, we just had them on an off day because we have had them before from there and they've been gorgeous. Yeah. So. And today, I was absolutely starving. I'd have eaten anything, I think. We've just found our new favourite pub, haven't we? Yeah. I've got a new girlfriend up there. So we've just we've just come in this. It's Gardeners Rest in Sheffield at Kellam Island. Yeah. And we've just been chatting to the guy. It's a community pub. Cheap beer and live music. They're like an open mic thing, you can all have a go at music. All folk and blues. And they're really good. Yeah. It's cracking, we're just we're all checking it in terms. I don't, I don't I don't really want to film them. But you can't feel the sound. But they've got a really good selection of beers. I've got the ABK wheat beer, and you've got the Diamond Stout, the Chantry beer. They were like 350 and 380. So, really good price. And it's just outside city centre, really, in Sheffield, isn't it? So. But it's... You have to bypass the cleaner zone to get one. Yeah. Seriously, 
my new favourite pub, one of the best pubs I've been in. Absolutely loved it. So we're just uh, in Helen's local. And one, one of them. One of the locals. Well, his favourite one was short. Mm. So Wednesday night. Welcome to other one. The sign of the they're, times. They're all very quiet, aren't they? Mm. Like it is in here. Anyway, we've forgot to do the shout outs tonight. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little bit much. <laughs> In your opinion? Well, I, it, it is. What we're going to say, you know, we like doing shout outs, seriously, thoroughly. I don't see that there's a problem. No, the, the problem is, is, and when they're in the comments, mm -hmm. is I tend to miss a lot of them. So if you want a shout out. I don't. That's another thing. If we miss your comment, I'll, I started off trying to reply to every single comment, but I'm getting between two and three hundred comments a day now. And when you're on your phone and that, you just miss them. So don't think I'm ignoring you. Don't we get, try. Yeah. We'll if, try our best because we know how important you are. If I don't reply, listen to you. They are. <laughs> of course we are. We're all a family. Yeah. We're all a family. And we appreciate the yeah, subscribers are, we, and the viewers. It's our channel. It's a community. Yeah. But I don't want people to be upset if you put a comment on and I don't reply because in a lot of occasions I've genuinely not seen him. Uh, somebody said to me the other day, oh, you've not replied to that comment and I've just not seen it because you scroll through them and you have to approve them all and then they, some, they just disappear sometimes, don't they? I don't know why. If you want shout-outs, can we respectfully ask that you put them, you go on my website and put them on that, you fill the contact form and do them that, because then I'll have them all together and I can go through them. Because it's a case of, we're gaining more comments, Helen's getting some, I'm getting some, we're making notes, we've got notes from all over and we're sort of missing them out. If we do them on website, then... Put some on Insta, some on Facebook, some on private messages, <sighs> some on the comments on YouTube and they're all... Of, of. I mean, if we were making a fortune, we'd be able to text staff on just to deal with messages. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, we're a long way off that. So, we yeah. still want to do them. We still like doing it. And, I'm uh, making James see it my way. Yeah. Because you're a bit grumpy, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's not that I forget him as well, but I? You've got to remember that these lovely people making you a successful YouTuber. Uh, yes, and I really and do. you have to be humble. It. Are you humble? Of course I'm humble, Good. Yeah. I'll always be humble and I'll always be real. <laughs> We'll always be real. We're always going to keep it real. Yeah, because we are just real. We are just like you lot. We're just, that sounds just, a bit patronising. Does it? Yeah, I think it does. Ah. We're just like you. Well, everyone's been telling us that they're like us. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alcoholics. <laughs> Mental. Anyway, thank you for watching. The pub's filling we up now. We couldn't do it without so you. So we will say good evening. And good night and see you on the see next.